Hi guys, in this video, I just would like to demonstrate to you the first version of Bingo for Google Slides. There are two areas that I like to focus on in this video. First, the creation of the bingo cards, and then second, setting up the flashboard. And then of course, I will also show you how you can play your bingo game using this add-on, all right? So first of all, uh, for you to be able to access this, you will need to install Slides uh, Bingo for Google Slides uh, onto your Google Sites. There would be another video for that, uh, but as of now, I won't include that here, but be sure to check the description below to uh, get to that video, all right? So first, you wanna set up your Bingo. So it will show a sidebar like this. So you create the Bingo cards by doing these three steps. The first step is you wanna import a bingo card template, all right? So let me just talk about this. So the bingo cards, you can actually create them using a wide screen like this. So it will show something like this. If you pick two cards, it will show something like this. If it, you pick three cards here, then it will show something like that, and so on and so forth. This is the four, and this is the eight, all right? So those are the uh, landscape mode. So if you wanna import uh, bingo cards using the, uh, uh, the uh, portrait mode for easy printing, you can do that too. And it will show you something like this. Uh, two cards is shown this way, three cards is shown this way, and the four cards is shown this way, and then the eight cards is shown this way, all right? So that's how, how it works, how it looks like. So now let me show you how to import and create this. So let's just, do a two card one here, just do an import. All right, so it's gonna create those two cards with a new slide here, there you go. So now this is the two cards. You Step two then, you know, allows you to customize this. Let's say you wanna change colors or whatever to the title or whatever the text, the font, whatever, or even the background, you know, of this, uh, of this particular uh, uh, slide. Let's say for example, I wanna change the background of this slide. So let's do this, choose, or maybe just change the color of the background. Oops, sorry. Let's just change the color of the background. Let's say we're gonna do it this way. So yeah, so you can do that. Or let's say you wanna just change the image. Let's just Google search an image here. Let's say bingo image. Search on Google. So yeah, those are not so good. Yeah, maybe this one is okay. And then let's insert that. All right, so that's your uh, background and maybe you wanna change this text, you can or whatever. Delete it or whatever, all right? So once you're done with that, you can now select how many players you want to use uh, this. There, you know, whenever, let's say you pick 10 pages, it's gonna randomly generate all the numbers in your bingo card, all right? So let's just do five for now uh, for the sake of uh, speed. So let's create the uh, cards, all right? So it's creating them now. So it's gonna be added to your page. So it's been created, all right? So as you can see, those numbers are all different, all right? So what if it's on on a portrait? It's the same thing. So let's just say I'm gonna add an image here. All right, search the web. Let's just say bingo. All right, let's add something like, I don't know, maybe this one. All right, and then resize that a little bit. Move it uh, down a little bit. There you go. So that's it. That's the template that we wanna do, use. And then let's scroll down a little bit here, move, put it at the very end. Let's close this one, and then let's generate five pages, all right? So it's creating the cars, duplicating the template, and then make it randomly generate all the, yeah, the numbers. There you go. So that's how you create the, the bingo cards. All right, next step is to create this, the flashboard. So that's very easy. You just click this button here, set up flashboard, and then there's gonna be a bunch of them that are shown here. I'll probably add more of that, but let's just say you pick this one. It will just add it as a slide, all right? All right, so that's now been added. Here we go. So yeah, so let's say you already printed all this out or sent over all of this to uh, your players. You can delete all of them. 
all right and then just leave this uh, leave, leave this uh, flashboard in place all right and then you can go to the extension and it slides bingo to play bingo all right all right so now that's loaded the first thing you will need to do is to choose the pattern let's say you want the pattern 8 for example you can pick pattern 8 it's going to show up here the pattern 8 or let's say you want pattern 3 you can do that too there you have it you know see, that's the other thing is if you want to customize the color you can you can change this the color of this particular thing and then everything will be carried over let's say you want the background to be you know slightly different like this one right so when you change the pattern it will pick this up and then put it here all right now let's draw a bingo bell ball sorry bingo ball all right let's try that so there should be a sound and then a thing there you go b2 all right that's b2 here all right it's gonna show up and then let's say let's draw another one all right n32 there you go let's say you just keep going until somebody have this uh, eight figure eight here all right so once you're done you can restart the game by doing a restart bingo here it's just going to erase all of this and then put this back in its initial initial setup all right there you go so you can play another game if you want you can change a pattern whatnot etc there you have it uh, that's the uh, bingo game uh, for google slides if you have any question please feel free to comment below uh, the, the other thing is I want you I, I want to encourage you to check the description because once we update this I will put the new video in the description below all right so that's pretty much it thank you for listening if you like this video please uh, give it a like uh, or subscribe to our channel if you want to see more uh, tools like this being built for uh, Google workspace all right thank you have a good day bye now